As you get into computer networking, you often hear the term broadcast or broadcast address. But what exactly is a broadcast or a broadcast address? I'm Clint Garrett, Ace Networker. Broadcast address explained in this short video. First of all, a broadcast is not too different from what first comes to your mind when you hear the term broadcast. Most people think of a radio broadcast or a television broadcast back when television signals were only transmitted through the airwaves back in those days. But when they hear the word broadcast, those are the two things they typically think of. And really, the radio broadcast is the best example. When you have a radio broadcast, a single radio station or source is broadcasting out to multiple radios or receiving devices. On a computer network, a broadcast is very similar. One device transmits out to multiple other devices. So to make broadcast simple, I wanted to first establish that there are four types of broadcasts you'll encounter or work with on a computer network. Layer 2 broadcasts, or hardware broadcasts, they call them. Layer 3 broadcasts, which are the most common that you'll encounter. Unicast and multicast. So before I do that, I'm putting up an example diagram of a computer network here. In the middle, we have a router. And instead of using a picture of a router, since routers and switches can look very similar on the outside, depending on the manufacturer of the devices, I'm going to use the icon for a router here in the middle. We'll have three of these layer two switches connected to this router with several hosts or nodes, devices, connected on each of those switches. So in this diagram, we have three LANs or local area networks on this one router. One LAN for each switch that's connected to the router. To repeat, there are four types of broadcasts you'll encounter in computer networking. Now, the first I mentioned was layer two broadcasts. This type of broadcast is sent out to all nodes on a LAN. Layer two broadcasts are also called hardware broadcasts because they use the hardware address or addresses. Again, see the videos I have on NIC cards and MAC addresses, as these are the same hardware addresses we're referring to here. Now, Layer 2 broadcasts, also known as hardware broadcasts, only go out on a LAN. They do not go past a LAN boundary, and a LAN boundary is typically a router or a Layer 3 device, unless they're a unicast packet, which I'm going to show you in just a minute. So a typical hardware address is 6 bytes, or 48 bits long, and can look something like this. A Layer 2 broadcast will be all 1s in binary, and all Fs in hexadecimal like you see here. Then we move on to the most commonly referred to type of broadcast, layer three broadcasts, which are typically what technicians and IT admins and techies are referring to when they say broadcasts on a computer network. Broadcast messages, again at layer three, are meant to reach all hosts on a broadcast domain. These are at the IP address level, since we're dealing with layer three, and will have all host bits turned on as ones. Now, when we get into subnetting or creating subnetworks or subnet masks with subnet masks, the broadcast address will be, again, the one with all ones for the host bits. Technically, if you didn't have a subnet mask or subnets, the broadcast address would be 255.255.255.255 or all ones, like so. If you do have subnets, which is the case with most computer networks, the broadcast address will be the one with all host bits turned on or set to ones for that subnet. And 255.255.255.255 then becomes the broadcast for all networks and all hosts. So it's not just the broadcast for that subnet, as that subnet, each subnet has its own broadcast address. All 255s in an IP address will become the broadcast for all networks and all hosts. Then you have a unicast. Now, a unicast is a broadcast that's sent to an actual destination IP address. Essentially, a specific host is intended to receive a unicast broadcast. In the world of networking, the best example of a unicast broadcast is a DHCP request. When a host, like your computer for instance, sends out a DHCP request, it sends out an all Fs layer 2 broadcast and an a 255.255.255.255 layer 3 destination broadcast looking for a DHCP server on the local area network you're connected to. And we'll get into this in other videos, but the router on your LAN will know to forward the DHCP server because it will have a destination, if it has to, because it will have a destination port number of 67. 
Again, we'll get into this in other videos and talk about ports in other videos, but this is the boot P server that you'll read about or hear about. The router will forward that request to the DHCP server if it's on a different LAN, and this is how a unicast broadcast can make it through a router if its destination IP address is not on the LAN where the host is sending the broadcast. Now, as you get into subnetting, something you need to keep in mind is that even though an IP address has a zero, or a 255 in its address, it may not necessarily be a broadcast. So don't always make that assumption. That may not be the case. It may just be a host IP address. Then you have the fourth type of broadcast, which is called a multicast. And a multicast is a type of broadcast that is sent from a single host to multiple hosts on a network. Some people tend to falsely confuse a multicast with a combination between a unicast and a broadcast, but this isn't entirely correct. Multicast is truly a point-to-multipoint communication, like a broadcast, but it allows for multiple recipients to receive the broadcast without flooding the entire network with the broadcast they have to process or drop. Multicast works by sending messages or data to a group of addresses known as a multicast group. If and when routers encounter a multicast broadcast, they will forward copies of the multicast packet out every interface with a host that has subscribed to that group address. Here is where you'll get into what are known as Class D multicast addresses when you're talking about classful IP addresses. This range of addresses starts at 224.0.0.0. It goes all the way to 239.255.255.255. I'll try to post future videos about multicasting and exactly how it works. We'll get into more detail. But for now, know the difference between the four types of broadcasts on a computer network and how they're used. And be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out the links in the description below for additional mini courses and simple learning videos to help you advance in the world of computer networking as fast and efficiently as possible.